So now it's 2022, it's time to get back into shape. So a new year, new me, yeah. So we're gonna be riding the bike, doing push-ups, doing sit-ups and eating healthy. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Matt, welcome to Roads of Oz and none of that is gonna be happening anytime soon. Pretty much, I like food too much, I hate exercise and the only real health advice I can give you if you wanna lose weight, eat less, move more. That's all I've got. And no one wants to see me doing an exercise program. We'll leave that to the fit ones out there with the good bods, not the dad bod. Anyway. So what have I got in store for you for 2022? Well, hopefully a little more of the same, but without the lockdown, there'll be definitely more Ducati Super Sport content. I'll give you a breakdown of what it actually costs to get it back on the road. Also, fingers crossed, a bit more trail bike riding, but I've said that for the last three years, so <laughs> could be one of those, you know, dreaming. So this year, I'll be showing you the only thing dumber than doing up one of these bevel motors. For those that have been with me from the very beginning, for the last four years, I've been promising you I'll be getting my Ducati bevel back on the road. Well, rest assured, I will be getting the Ducati bevel motor rebuilt and put back in the bike before the year's out. I've made some arrangements. I've got another mechanic on board and it's booked in, fingers crossed, for hopefully by the end of March, we'll have it all stripped down. And not sure how long the process will take, but hopefully by summer 22, 23, I'll be riding a, a nice bevel around for the following summer. So hopefully we'll be pretty much following the same course as the 600 Supersport. We'll be following getting the, the bike resprayed, the tank repaired, and I'll be going through exactly everything I'll be doing with it. So there's gonna be product reviews, tools, accessories, and, um, and motorcycle wear. There'll be a lot of that because I'm really enjoying testing out some of this equipment. Even though I've got to pay for it, it's money well spent and I can share with you the experience and what I thought of the actual product. The CB125, I might have found a replacement for it, but who knows, we'll see how that goes. That uh, More on that one a bit later on. There's gonna be a budget build there somewhere. Fingers crossed I can convince my wife to get an ADV bike because there's a lot of dirt tracks. And the big one for the year, I've got a big tour coming up. It's This trip has been in the making for the last 10 years. I've wanted to do it for quite some time and I'll be giving you a rundown of this big trip I've got planned. I'm gonna share with you the whole thing, setting up the bike, um, planning, all those types of things and also the roads trying to find some of the best roads to travel on i should be traveling through three states providing these two dickheads don't ruin it fingers crossed anyway if not i'll have an alternate but that's my big plan for the year big trip get the bevel back on the road and just keep having fun doing what i do so since the beginning of the channel i've been using this gopro 5 well, for this Christmas, my wife bought me the GoPro 10. You should expect much better recording quality. I won't fully pension off the 5. I will use it for other things, but I'm hoping to do a lot more filming with this one and learn how to use it better along the way. Anyway, that's pretty much it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you stick around for another year. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. I'll be bringing out content on a weekly basis. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to share the vid. Don't forget to hit the like. And more importantly, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's a massive help to the channel. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next vid.